Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. I'm here with hopefully um, a quick a quick update because not very not too much has changed. Um, I wanted to clarify. I'm a pretty organized person. I think I mentioned it in uh, in one of the previous video videos that um, yeah, it's difficult for me to be productive in the middle of a lot of clutter. So I'm kind of naturally organized. I used to be um, an administrative assistant, and that was that was one of my strengths. That was one of the things that I did. It was like um, not just organizing, but like setting up sy systems to work the most efficiently. Um, I say that I think of my my mom who used to say there's a place for everything and everything in its place so it's been my experience that it's just a lot easier um, when I don't have to wade through piles of stuff to get to the tools that I need to complete a task um, I like to quickly find what I what I need and just as quickly be able to um, to put it away so my issue with this space is that there I'm working with some very specific limitations there are some things that cannot be removed from the room right now um, that I can't use the wall space right now um, so what I like to say is that I keep I'm working the space <laughs> I keep working the space people and I'll continue to do that until um, until I can get it as efficient for my particular work habits as possible. So the first step, like I mentioned in the, the last video when I'm organizing is to, um, is to clean up a little bit and to remove things that don't belong, uh, remove trash and garbage from the space. Um, for me, I have to get rid of as much clutter as possible. And as you see, I'm kind of still I'm still working on that because I have different piles of stuff that I still need to go through. Um, so step two in my process is, um, I guess what I call arranging the space, categorizing and arranging the space. I typically work in a very categorized system, meaning like I have a specific space for doing specific things. I mentioned, you know, I need a, a table for when I'm actually crafting and working. Um, I needed a surface for videos and photographs when I'm on the computer. And that was another issue. Like my computer has to be connected to the printer on one side and then it, I need to be connected to the Cricut on another side. The Cricut itself needs its own space. So as I'm looking at all of this and trying to figure out how to um, I guess how to how to best use the space I'm losing my thought because I'm looking around and I'm starting to lose my thoughts so um, I had to set I, had, I need to set up the physical area the furniture the tables um, my drawers to make the best use of the space um, and for me I I need I needed or I need all my surfaces like in one spot in one area and um, I, I heard the thought I know it was the Holy Spirit saying you know where's your biggest wall what's the biggest wall because if you look of course I have the window there which is pretty much covered up then there's a short wall there and then the nook over there I've tried to keep as much of my non crafting stuff as possible so like all the walls and then we have the slanted ceiling so I was like, where, you know, I kept hearing the thought, where's your biggest wall? Where's your biggest wall? Well, duh, right there. So I was able to bring all of my, most of my surfaces all together. It didn't completely work out the way I wanted it to, that I wanted the cricket, that, that red table there. I wanted all of the, the tables up against this wall, but it wouldn't fit. I was off by maybe one and a half to two inches and I could have gone out and gotten another table well sorta of, kinda but I just I don't want to buy anything else right now I want to try to use what I have I did go buy a stool though I got that high stool out of Walmart so I was able to put my space where I'm where I craft or where I'm working on something I got my printer there and the drawers my computer um, 
a lot of my well that's not all it's some of my paper pads there the Cricut table and then my surface for videos and photos and then of course I said that I needed a surface like when I'm working I'm normally doing like five and ten items at a time so I kind of need a storage station um, I was able to my friend my lovely friend and her husband and she just started a YouTube channel so if I don't post it in this video later on I will um, connect her channel Barbara Jean hey girl her husband built this in a matter of like I don't know I think it was hours so anyway I'm gonna be using that I'm waiting for the clamp to come and that's where I'll be able to um, start doing videos so I was able to take the the other I was able to take the tripod down and those other crazy things that was holding the tripod up um, I was able to put a lot of my IKEA furniture together but I'm still I'm still like I said I'm still working the space um, so I'm gonna come back this way the, I feel better about this because I can jump kind of from table to table surface to surface um, I'm a little bit unsatisfied because I feel like everything is not coordinated and that's just me because I like the stuff to be coordinated however I didn't want to put anything on this table when I'm working because I'm sloppy I'm sloppy with glue I'm sloppy with glitter and I didn't want you know have to constantly be taken off whatever I put on that table to um to clean it or wash it this here I, I can't really put a covering over that because I'm in and out of those drawers um, a lot so that's that's you know that's pretty much it for now um, I have most everything in the bigger space I still have to work on some things that are in that in that nook over there but the um, the next step for me is is going to be like I said I, I already work in a very um, organized you know in a categorized way so most of my craft supplies are already sorted I'll just be going and this makes me laugh I think about it every time I don't know have you guys ever seen the movie toys it's with um, LL Cool J and Robin Williams and I know I'm digressing but in the movie LL Cool J his um, his character he doesn't like his food to touch and he's he's there I don't like my I don't like my food to mix and that's how I am that's how I feel like my glitter is not with my inks and my beads don't touch my sequins you know everything is <laughs> everything is separated and categorized but that's what works for me it you know it just it works for me and I'm able to move quicker when I can just go to one spot and get what I need and I don't have to shuffle through stuff um, so I get, that'll be my next step to actually go through each category and decide what I'm keeping and decide what I'm giving away. I've kind of started that process already with um, a few of the giveaways that um, I still need to do the drawings for. Um, but I, that's it for now. I guess my next thing will be going through each category and then kind of re repurposing the areas that um that the things are in like those drawers right there I emptied out those drawers and I I put some I changed what was in those drawers so that I could have what I needed for that particular working area so that's what I'm that's the next step um thank you guys for watching and again if if you have any suggestions you have any thoughts you have any ideas Put them in the comments below because every little every little idea kind of helps and even if I can't use the specific um, you know specifically what you suggest I'm, I'm very good at taking a piece of something and and making it work for my situation so I hope you guys are inspired um, it looks a lot cleaner in here <laughs> thank you for watching I hope you're having a beautiful day God bless and I'll talk to you again soon bye